Hey everyone. Thought I'd let you know that that Tiny Tim thing. Where you know at the end. <sighs> That's not real. That's not real. Don't be like. Don't go up to the police or nothing and be like. Hey, I, I know someone you can put away. Don't do that. Okay, it's not real. Whenever I like fake alcohol, that's not real. Whenever I cuss, I just put in a beeper thing, and that's not real. I don't even cuss. And I don't. <laughs> Tiptoe through the window, by the window. That is where I'll be, so tiptoe through the tulips with me. Let's get started with the DVD update here. Alright, where did we leave off? I wanted to say more about this Rat Pack film. It basically tells a story about the Rat Pack, you know, like, you got, uh, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, oh my gosh, my head. Oh jeez, I, I, I'm gonna, like, collapse here. Yeah, I, it was bright as a son of a gun. I mean, I was sitting there, I was like, I need to wear, like, sunglasses. It was so bright. I don't know if they had, like, a hundred watt bulbs or something in there, but it was bright. But, yeah, very good, very good film. Uh, it's HBO. Did this DVD, you know, they did Three Amigos and stuff, so. But that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think we showed rich, Risky Business. Yeah, we got Rocket Man Risky Business. And we got Say It Isn't So. Just skip this. I don't I even like this that much. It was like very stupid humor. Shame on you. Shame on you, whoever did this film. Scary movie. Basically a spoof of all the horror films and stuff like Scream. I know what you did last summer. You know, comedy wise, kind of like you know. I'm sure you've all seen this. Very funny film though. But is that it? Is that all the scary movies? No, actually, I have the rest of them here and. They are. I know people didn't like the fourth one, but I found it quite funny. Yeah. I don't know why people don't like it. They're all funny. They're all spoofs. So they're nothing different. They're just trying to make you laugh and stuff, you know. Then we got uh, School of Rock with Jack Black. I did not like this film at first, but... As years went on, I was like, this ain't that bad. This is alright. It's basically, uh, I think, yeah, he's just like a substitute, obviously, or something, for his teacher, and he's trying to teach him, he needs money or something, and he's teaching him, like, rock and roll and stuff, I don't know. Not very smart. Yeah, I'm very happy to find this film, uh. Norm MacDonald is fed up with Mrs. Croc. Not Mrs. Crotch, Mrs. Croc. Um, who is played by Elaine Stritch. And, you know Norm MacDonald. He, he does a lot of SNL stuff. Uh, yeah, so, he's fed up with her and everything. He wanted a suit. She, she didn't give him one. She's like real rich. He doesn't. She doesn't give him crap. So he decides to steal her papillon or whatever that is. Whatever dog that is. I don't know. Um, so he steals the papillon. The papillon runs away. Goes back into the house, and then she thinks the kidnappers stole Norm Macdonald. It's kind of confusing. I don't know. Um, and it also stars Dave Chappelle and. Danny DeVito. Very funny film, though. If you can find it. It's it's hard to find, I'm sure. I don't know. 
and we got the scout with Albert Brooks and Brendan Fraser. And somebody told me, I, I think it was Sean, yeah, on one of his updates, Sean Phillips said that Brendan Fraser was put down a lot. I, I never knew about that. The scout. <laughs> yeah, um, let's just say, if you can find it, buy it, because it's so freaking funny. It's it's awesome. It's very funny. Um, basically, he has to find a scout. Albert Brooks. He has to find a scout that he can take back to the uh, whatever. Who was it? Yeah, Yankees. Um, that he can take back to the Yankees or something. And I can't even display in a movie. Yeah, um, so he finds Brendan Fraser, and he finds that he's perfect for the job for the Yankees team, but he has a lot of emotional issues and stuff, and it's really funny, basically. And I'm not going to explain this one. Everybody has this, I'm sure. Shaun of the Dead, basically zombies, you know, come to kill everyone, and... Simon Pegg doesn't want to be eaten, so he starts killing them off and everything, and runs away from them, and, you know, what you'd want to do. I mean, right? You don't want to get killed by a zombie, do you? <laughs> showtime. It's showtime. Yeah. A lot of people don't like this, but I found it very funny. Um, not so much Eddie Murphy. I found Robert De Niro quite funny in this one. Uh, but but Eddie De Murphy did have some funny stuff in it. Um, and it was pretty clever, I guess. I don't know what to really to say about it. Just basically, yeah. I don't even wanna attempt to explain that one. Oh. JP's a loser. <laughs> uh, sideways. Oh my gosh. Um, this guy's, Thomas Hayden Church is gonna get married. And he wants to get laid and stuff or something. Uh, so he takes his buddy, Paul Giamatti, or, how do you say his name? I don't even know. As they go, like, wine tasting or whatever, and they meet, like, these two girls, and yeah, they do what they want to do with them, and... And I don't want to spoil it on anything, so I won't tell you that, but, yeah. That's kind of weird, you know. I thought it was very good, no doubt about that. But if you're gonna get married, I think you you're making like a dedication or something to the woman, right? Or not a dedication, but a commitment. Why do you want to go out and get laid, man? That's what the wife is for, right? All right. So snatch with Brad. Pit. Apparently there's a special edition out now. I don't know. Anyway, here's a... Yeah. I don't really know what to say about this. It's kind of confusing for me. I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, but it really did come out to a good film. I don't know. I can't really remember what it was about. Okay, the next film I have to show is Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe. No, 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 with Marilyn Manson. And Tony Hawk. And Johnny Appleseed. Co-starring Richard Simmons, Michael Jackson... And special appearances by...
by O.J. Simpson. No, not really. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon. Old timers, you know. Basically, they witnessed the, the St. Valentine's Massacre. So, you know, if you witness that, you want to get out of there, right? So they go, and they dress up as women, and they go on, like, this band tour with a lot of women, and they try and keep that disguise so they don't get caught by the mobsters. Very funny film. Uh, and if you say, 1959, that's a long time ago. I don't want to watch that. Well, come on now. Really? Someday, today is going to be like a really old day. So, basically, you're just fooling yourself. So.